G'day Australia, I'm Coram Ellis from Universal Fuse DIY Vehicle Electronics Upgrades and I want to quickly show you a few key points about our wildly famous and wildly popular Pioneer plug and play amplified processor which is most popular in the VE and VF Commodore. It's a quick and easy sound upgrade solution that adds a little bit more extra power to your factory system, reinforcing the factory speakers. It gives you a much greater level of control with uh, high quality equalizers and crossover points, all adjustable from a smartphone once the device is installed. This is starting point for building on your system. It's much better than much, much better than a high to low level converter because you get a lot of tunability. So if you're going to build out even bigger amplifiers on the system, this is still your number one first stop, the Pioneer DEQ processor. But it's also a small four channel amplifier as well. So just adding this component on its own will give you a fantastic boost to your audio system. Back it up with some new speakers, you got a primo solution, very quick and easy to install because exclusive to Universal Fuse, we build you a plug and play interface for VE, VF, Commodore and quite a lot of other vehicles as well. Now the reason this is unique to Universal Fuse and you can't buy it off the shelf anywhere else is we actually modify some off the shelf components to link up this plug and play kit for you. It has a standard T harness for VE Commodore in this case where one end will plug into the factory audio unit and the other end will plug into the factory power harness and speaker harness that came out of the audio unit. Something I'll point out when you integrate this T harness, sometimes we get some people uh, getting in contact saying, hey, some features of the car aren't working correctly after I've fitted the T harness. If that's the case, it's not actually a problem at all with the T harness. It's just that sometimes these connectors don't fully dock together. They might look like they're docked, the pins don't actually make full and complete contact. So please, if you're having that problem, undock and redock the connector. Just make sure it's very, very firmly seated well into place. Now, we modify this with a particular uh, little addition, which is this fancy blue wire here. Very fancy, one blue wire. And what that's designed to connect to is this connector right here. Now, I'll just show you where that was from. That clips into a little a little mounting point up here on the side of the audio system. You pop that out, make that accessible to yourself, and you're going to connect that blue wire in our plug and play kit to this pin on this side. So one of the parallel pins, and if you're looking at the connector this way, it's the parallel pin to the left. That is an accessory feed pin for the vehicle that switches to accessories when you turn the key. Now the reason we use that pin in particular to pick up accessories is because it's fused on the cigarette lighter socket circuit. So that circuit is already designed to have extra electrical components added to it. It's the safest one to use in this car without upsetting any of the rest of the vehicle's electrical systems. So with the Universal Fuse plug and play modified adapter, you'll be able to connect that blue wire which will switch the Pioneer processor on and off with the key. Check out universalfuse.com.au for this pack and many, many more for your VE Commodore as well as VF Commodore and we've got a wide range of plug and play up audio upgrade solutions for a huge range of Aussie vehicles. Come and visit us at the website or on the socials, universalfuse.com.au.